Boeing's highly anticipated 777X has just been hit with a catastrophic setback. A major design flaw has grounded the program, and with billions at stake, Boeing's dominance in the aviation world is suddenly under threat. Could this be the moment Airbus finally takes over? In today's video, we'll dive into Boeing's struggles and how Airbus is ready to capitalize on Boeing's missteps. Stay tuned. The Boeing 777X was supposed to be Boeing's crown jewel, a revolutionary wide-body aircraft designed to redefine long-haul travel. When the program was first unveiled, expectations were sky high. Airlines saw it as the perfect solution for modern aviation, unmatched fuel efficiency, longer range, and increased passenger capacity. Boeing had a plan to meet the growing demand for aircraft that could travel further while also reducing operational costs for airlines. Set to debut in 2020, the 777X was expected to be a game changer. But as time passed, whispers of trouble began to emerge. What was once Boeing's shining achievement began to look more like a ticking time bomb. The troubles started small, minor delays turned into major setbacks, and soon Boeing's once reliable 777X program was facing serious challenges. The first major issue arose with the aircraft's GE-9X engines, the largest and most advanced engines ever fitted into a commercial plane. Designed to power the 777X into the future, these engines ran into unexpected durability issues during testing, causing significant delays. The problems didn't stop there. Later, in 2019, a critical stress test revealed a much bigger concern. A door blew off the aircraft during testing. This shocking incident raised serious questions about the structural integrity of the 777X putting the entire program under scrutiny. As Boeing worked to address these setbacks, the global pandemic hit, further complicating matters. The pandemic wreaked havoc on supply chains, grounded fleets, and shifted market demand, forcing Boeing to delay the program even further. The 777X was now in limbo, and to make matters worse, Boeing was still reeling from the 737 MAX crisis, which had severely damaged its reputation. Regulatory scrutiny intensified, with the FAA imposing stricter certification processes on the 777X program. Boeing faced additional testing requirements and potential design modifications, dragging the timeline out even longer. What was once considered the future of aviation was now at risk of becoming Boeing's greatest failure. Then came what could only be described as the most devastating blow to the Boeing 777X program. During what was supposed to be a routine post-flight inspection, engineers made a shocking discovery, a critical structural flaw in one of the aircraft's most vital components, the point where the engine attaches to the wing known as the engine wing interface. This area is subjected to immense stress during every phase of flight, particularly on long haul routes where the aircraft endures hours of constant strain. Unlike major technical issues that could be quickly fixed, this design flaw was far more severe. The structural integrity of the engine wing interface is essential to ensuring the aircraft's stability in flight, and any weakness in this area could compromise the entire aircraft's safety. The implications of this flaw were grave. With such a defect, the 777X risked structural failure during operation, making it not just an inconvenience, but a potential hazard for airlines and passengers alike. The seriousness of the discovery left Boeing with no choice but to take immediate action. They had to halt all test flights of the 777X, sending shockwaves throughout the aviation industry. But the bad news didn't stop there. The flaw is so significant that Boeing is now scrambling to redesign the faulty component and replace it across the entire fleet of test aircraft. This isn't a quick or simple fix. The redesign will require extensive testing and evaluation to ensure the new component can withstand the enormous stresses it will encounter. 
Every step of the process will demand rigorous testing, certification, and regulatory approval, all of which take time and resources. The magnitude of this redesign is staggering. It's not just about fixing a single part. It's about rethinking an entire structural element critical to the aircraft's performance. Boeing must ensure that this new design can handle the intense mechanical stress of long-haul flights, while meeting the safety standards expected by both airlines and regulatory agencies like the FAA. This redesign comes with massive costs, both in terms of money and time. For Boeing, already facing substantial delays, this latest setback pushes their timeline even further. Now, Boeing's target of releasing the 777X by 2025 is in serious jeopardy. Major customers like Emirates and Qatar Airways, which have heavily invested in the 777X for their long-haul fleets, are growing increasingly impatient. The risk of strained relationships with these high-profile clients is very real, and further delays could push them to explore alternative aircraft options, such as Airbus's A350, which is quickly becoming a formidable competitor. As the costs of redesigning the component and halting test flights pile up, Boeing is facing a financial and reputational crisis. With billions of dollars already sunk into the 777X program, any additional delays not only jeopardize their ability to meet customer demand, but also risk losing market share to Airbus, whose A350 is increasingly seen as the more reliable and immediate option. This situation has left the 777X program teetering on the edge. Boeing's once bright future with this flagship aircraft is now mired in uncertainty, and every delay chips away at their dominance in the aviation industry. For Boeing, this is more than just a technical setback, it's a crisis that threatens the core of their business. The financial implications of redesigning the component and the extended timeline for testing and certification are enormous. Key customers like Emirates and Qatar Airways, who have placed significant orders for the 777X, are growing impatient. If Boeing can't deliver, these airlines may start reconsidering their options. And what's worse? Airbus is waiting in the wings, ready to capitalize on Boeing's failures. While Boeing struggles to regain control of the 777X program, Airbus is seizing the opportunity. The A350 family of aircraft, renowned for its fuel efficiency, long-range capabilities, and reliability, is steadily becoming the aircraft of choice for airlines worldwide. With every delay in the 777X program, Airbus is gaining more ground. Airlines like Emirates and Qatar Airways, heavily invested in the 777X, may start to view the A350 as a more reliable alternative. Airbus's ability to deliver on time, combined with the A350's reputation for cutting-edge technology and operational efficiency, is making it an increasingly attractive option for airlines looking to expand their fleets. This isn't just a temporary shift, it could be a game-changer in the aviation industry. With every setback Boeing faces, Airbus inches closer to solidifying its dominance in the wide-body market. The balance of power in the skies is shifting, and Airbus is ready to take over Boeing's territory. The longer Boeing's 777X program remains grounded, the more market share they stand to lose. Airbus is positioning itself as the leader, and the A350 is the aircraft that could tilt the balance permanently in their favor. So, what does the future hold for Boeing and Airbus? Can Boeing recover from this series of setbacks, or will Airbus continue its rise to dominance? The competition between these two giants has never been more intense, and the stakes couldn't be higher. Boeing is fighting to preserve its legacy, but with each delay, the future looks more uncertain. Airbus, on the other hand, is soaring to new heights. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Will Boeing bounce back, or is Airbus about to claim the throne? And before you go, don't forget to subscribe and like this video to stay updated on the latest in aviation news.